فلان کا تارکن بازا میں یو ہا الے کا وزائقن بھی صدر کا یقول لو لا انزلا علیہ کنز او جا ماہ ملک سو پرہپس اور پر چانس یو او محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم آر گوئنگ ٹو لیو سم آف وٹ ہیز بین سینڈ ڈاؤن ٹو یو ریویل ٹو یو وزائق البہی صدر اینڈ یور چیسٹ از شرنکنگ آن اٹ ان یقولو دیٹ دے آر سینگ لولا انزلا علیہ کنزل وائی ہیز ناٹ بین اے ٹریئر سینڈ ڈاؤن آن ہیم ہی سیز آئی ایم دی ریپرزینٹیو آف اللہ دا ماسٹر آف آل دا ورلڈ wouldn't he give him a treasure wealth we saw him all the life toiling in his childhood even his you know early adolescence he was working as a laborer then he was working as a merchant and he claims to be the representative of allah the ambassador of allah on earth so how come wouldn't allah give him the wealth and riches oh jai mau malak and if he is really a messenger of allah So angels could have been accompanying him, you know, shouting to people, Oh, this is Messenger of Allah, you must believe in him. Wallahu ala kulli shayin makeel, and Allah is a guardian over everything. Now, because these things were coming to him repeatedly and repeatedly and repeatedly, people were saying these things, you know, and, you know, years had passed after years. So maybe that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam also felt somewhat, you know, grieved at it. And we find it. إِنَّهُ لَا يَحْزُنُكَ وَلَقَدْ نَعْلَمُ أَنَّهُ يَزِيقُ صَدْرُكَ بِمَا يَقُولُونَ But they are saying, you know, your chest shrinks over it due to grief and sorrow. So perhaps, but I don't think, you know, this is directed towards those people who are pressurizing him. You are pressurizing him so that he should give up some of the, those things which have been revealed to him. But, you know, uh, apparently... It is directed to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, but actually it is meant for those who were pressurizing him. فَلَعَلَّكَ تَارِكُمْ بَعْضَ مَا يُحَا إِلَيْكَ وَذَائِقُمْ بِهِ صَدْرُكَ يَقُولُ لَوْلَا أُنزِلَ عَلَيْهِ لَوْلَا أُنزِلَ عَلَيْهِ كَنْزُنَ وَجَعَ مَعَهُ مَلَكِ إِنَّمَا أَنْتَ نَذِيرِ Oh Muhammad, you are nothing but a warner. وَاللَّهُ عَلَىٰ كُلِّ شَيْءٍ وَكِيلًا It's Allah who is the guardian over everything. Am yaqulun aftara? Are they saying that he has composed it? He has forged it? He has, you know, concocted all this? Qul fatu bi ashre sobarim mislehi. This is the intrinsic proof and evidence that this surah was revealed before surah Yunus. Because, you know, this argument, you know, it, it started from the whole of Quran. We find in surah Bani Israel. قُلْ لَيْنِ اجْتَمَعَتِ الْإِنسُ وَالْجِنُّ عَلَىٰ يَاتُوا بِمِسْلِ هَادُ الْقُرْآنِ لَا يَاتُونَ بِمِسْلِهِ وَلَوْ كَانَ بَعْضُهُمْ لِبَعْضٍ دَحِيرًا Tell them if all humans, all jinns could join together to compose a book like this Quran, they will not be able to compose it. Although they might help each other. So here a full book that was asked that if you can do, you, you also compose a full book. But then بر سبیل تنزل it is called you know if you couldn't do that okay then you compose 10 surahs okay not this whole of book 10 surahs then when they couldn't meet this challenge okay now you come come forth with one surah so it is gradual whole of Quran surah Bani Israel here 10 surahs فاتو بے عشر سوری مثلے ہی You, you also bring forth 10 surahs like this. Muftarayatin, which, which may be composed by men and forged by humans. Vadu man istatatum min dunillah. And you call whomsoever you can, except Allah. In kuntum sadiqeen, if you are true. Failam yastajibu lakum. But then if they don't, if they don't, you know, accept your challenge, if they don't reply to your request, Now you must know that it has been sent down with the knowledge of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah ilaha illahu and there is no God except He. So now are you ready to submit when you couldn't meet the challenge? When you couldn't and your, your false gods didn't reply you, they couldn't help you. You could call to them, okay? Send us some, you know, some jinn. who can compose, you know, surahs like Quran, your false gods have failed you, you are unable to accept the challenge, so you must be ready now 
to submit and surrender falan tum muslim ho man kana yuridu hayat ad dunya wa zinataha nuwaffi ilaihim a'malahum fiha wa hum fiha la yukhasun whosoever intends to have the enjoyment of this life of this world and its adornment nuwaffi ilaihim a'malahum we pay them in full for their deeds وَهُمْ فِيهَا لَا يُبْخَسُونَ And they shall not be made to suffer anything. No diminution will be done. If somebody has told them this world is working hard day and night, okay, we shall give, you, give him the wealth of this life, the comforts of this life. After all, he's working hard day and night. He's sweating, you know, any, like anything. So he must be given something from this world. And we give them full, pay them in full. إِلَيْهِمْ أَعْمَالَهُمْ All their deeds. Fiha in this world, wahum fiha la yubhasun, and nothing they will be deprived of nothing of their labor. Ulaik al lazina la salhum fil akhirah illa nar. But for them they are the they are those for them there will be nothing in the hereafter except fire. Wahabit amasa nau, and whatsoever they had produced in this world will go in vain because they never intended to have anything in akhirah. Even if they were doing some good deeds, they wanted, you know, that people should, you know, praise them that they are very philanthropist type of persons. They are very good persons. So actually, if even they were doing apparently good deeds, they didn't want the, the recompense or the reward of Akhirah. They wanted all the reward in this world and we have given it. So now in the Akhirah, they don't have anything to get except now. اُلَائِكَ الَّذِينَ لَيْسَ لَهُمْ فِي الْآخِرَةِ إِلَّا النَّارُ وَحَبِتَ مَا سَنَعُوا فِيهَا وَبَاطِلُ مَا كَانُوا يَعْمَلُوا Whatever good deeds they were doing, they were also false and hollow without any basis.